Hello recruiters, researchers, sources and my fellow capture disabled. Amy Giverts here with a quick follow up to the recent post that I put up on YouTube that showed you how you can unlock capture on your Google account as a good first step to take in that instance where you keep generating Google's capture page or that page that Google generates when it thinks that you're running an automated query so that you can evidence that you're human and proceed. So if you haven't already done so I would strongly encourage you to go back and uh, visit that tutorial. It's always a good idea to get your Google account primed for the kinds of things that we do as recruiters but it's not uncommon for us to keep running into this capture page when we run the kinds of queries that we run and sometimes you'll find that you're in a pickle like I am where you don't even have the opportunity to evidence that you're a human and you need to be able to proceed with your daily activities. So I'm going to suggest a couple of ways that you might overcome this instance of a capture page where you don't have the code to type in or where you just want to get on with your business and you don't want to have to keep backtracking to uh, evidence to Google that you love it dearly. So let's start off by understanding that there are certain things that are going to automatically trigger this capture page and if we can minimize those in our queries we're going to see less instances of the capture page itself. So one of the things that you need to be aware of that capture is going to be triggered by the frequency and the volume of searching in any given time period. So I'll call that time period a session and it's also going to be triggered by the use of advanced operators especially symbols. So if you're using the asterisks to uh, use as a wildcard or if you're using the tilde as a synonym operator or if you're substituting the or operator spelled out OR with the pipe these are things that especially in combination are going to get Google awfully worried that you are a machine and then you're going to be facing this page so before we go on and look at how we can resolve this issue in Google I want to remind everybody that Google is not the only place that we can come to get our Google results and this is especially useful to those people that are using screen tools so if you're using um, Outwit Hub or if you've got a pay-to-play service like Broadlook Diver you can set your default engine to a meta search engine like Zula and not ever see a capture page ever again so I'm gonna come and show you what I mean by invoking my favorite meta search engine which is Zula and if I take my Google query here which you can see is generating this capture I can drag it directly here into Zula and not have to deal with that annoying page so you can come directly to a meta search engine especially if it will give you your Google results of course and avoid the capture page by just running your query in that search engine as a default at least in those instances where you're running a series of queries which are only very slightly different as you can see I'm doing here which again is another one of the things that will automatically trigger your capture page so here you can see I'm running a query on LinkedIn and the only thing that I'm changing in each instance is the number of years tenure that I'm looking for in the profiles so you can see I've got four years five years and six years so that also is going to trigger capture so try eliminating some of the things that we know will create the problem so if I take away the asterisks there you'll see that I now no longer have an issue getting my search results now it's not always the case that you can take away your wildcards and get the results that you're looking for sometimes you're going to be using the asterisks as part of your proximity searching and so on and so forth so in those instances it might be a better idea for you to come up with an alternative way of expressing your query especially if you try and create a more semantic type of query where you're eliciting relevance and meaning in your search and not necessarily relying on your boolean and your modifiers to create a simple keyword match you can similarly overcome this annoyance but watch what happens now that I come in and type in my asterisk you'll see that I no longer have an issue with capture and if you come back and stay within your session you should be able to put back some of your wildcards, your tildes and your pipes and even your proximity searches and in so doing overcome the capture page yet again. So we found another way to evidence to Google that we're human not necessarily by putting in our capture code but by applying our intelligence and our experience to finding new ways to circumvent Google especially when we're on a webinar when all we really want to do is to prove to everybody that's involved that Google is much more useful than it is annoying 
however annoying it might be from time to time. As always, good luck and happy Googling everybody. Have a nice day.